Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a blog post template using Elementor Pro. So if you're creating a blog and aren't sure how other people get their blog posts to look different from every other page on their website, then this video is for you. I'll be walking you through how to create a professional looking blog post template in under 10 minutes. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so here I am in my WordPress dashboard. And if you haven't already, you're gonna need to download Elementor Pro to actually create your blog post template. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. And then real quickly, once you get your Elementor Pro subscription signed up for, you'll go down here to license, and then you'll go ahead and plug your license in right here. Okay, so the first step in going ahead and creating your blog post page is gonna be by going to templates. So it's gonna be templates down here, and let's go to add new. Okay, so we're gonna be creating a single post and then the location or it's going to be the post type is going to be post and the location we will leave it alone we will do example blog template click create template okay and then it's going to open up the elementor blocks library but you can just go ahead and x out of this and then here you are you see we have this blank page so what you can do actually is just go ahead and start dragging in the things that you need let's go ahead and take a look at our regular blog posts and see how we can make it the same thing. Okay, so you see we have a title here, we have the category up here, we have a little bit of post information, the thumbnail, and then the text, right? So let's go ahead and add this in in Elementor. Go ahead and click here just to go back. As you can see, we have the main page here in the middle, but we also have a sidebar. So if you wanna make a sidebar, you'll have to click this plus button, and then let's choose this square with the sidebar on the right. Okay, boom. So as you can see, now we have two plus signs. So we'll go ahead and start dragging in our content. So the first thing we'll need is a post title and it'll just go ahead and populate this with one of your already existing blog posts. So for this one, they chose how to start a faceless YouTube channel. And then what you can do here is you can do all kinds of things. You can change the size to small, medium, large, and then you can change the heading as well so that it fits with SEO. And for this one, for a title, you'll wanna have H1. And then you can also align it to the left, center, right, anything you want. So we'll keep this as is for now as a post title. And then from here, we'll go ahead and bring in a featured image. So let's go to featured image right here. Drag it in right below. And as you can see, it populates that image for us. And then the next thing we can do, just to make it look a little bit nicer over here on the right side too, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll add in a table of contents. So right here, drag in a table of contents. Right now, no headings are found, but they'll be found as soon as we put in our post content right below here. So before we put in the post content, let's include our post info. So here, drag the post info right below. I like underneath the title will be the post info. And personally, I like to delete everything but the date that it was published. So take out the author, the time, and the comments, and just leave it on the date. And let's see, let's even remove the icon. So take out that icon, remove the link as well, well, and then that looks a lot better to me. Okay, so moving on, we will want to have a category at the top, right? So as you can see here, we have our side hustles category for our blog posts. So let's add in the category. For this, it'll take a little bit extra work, but it's very simple and straightforward. All right, so go ahead and drag in the heading and then go over here to dynamic tags and switch it to post terms. And then you'll go ahead and you'll click on post terms and we'll switch this to categories. So boom, now it says side hustles right up there. All right, and just to stylize this a bit more, go to typography and let's reduce the size of this. So something like that is okay. And then here in the typography, as well you can change the text to whatever you'd like personally a good one for us that we use on our website is Montserrat so I would recommend that one and then you just make it consistent with all the headings and all the titles on your website but for now this looks okay and then just to go into a bit more depth you can change the line height the letter spacing the word spacing you can change the style to normal italic oblique you can transform it to uppercase lowercase capital change the weight as well and etc and then up here you can go ahead and change the color colors for whichever text color you want to have. For us, we just like to do black. Okay, so moving on, we have our categories. Now we have our post title, the date the post was published, a thumbnail, and now all we need is some post content, right? So let's go ahead and drag that in. And right here, post content. So drag this below the thumbnail and boom, you see all this pops up and then this table of contents should be 
populating soon, but I might need to configure this a bit more as well. I think you just need to change the HTML tag. So if I were to change it to, let's say three, all of it will pop up right here. So your headings are the HTML tag, and this will be in sync with the table of contents. So whatever your headings size is, is gonna be the same thing for this. So if your headings are an H1, for example, you would go over here and change the HTML tag to H1, but they don't have that as an option. So it'd be H2, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now that we have our table of contents, we have our post content, our thumbnail, a date, a title, and the category, it's starting to look like a full blog post template, right? But we wanna do a few more things to just make this really dynamic and increase the audience retention as well as conversions. So what we can do for that is just go ahead and add in post navigation. And this will just allow them to go to the next post, go to the previous post, and just stay on your site for a little bit longer. So for me, I like to have previous and next. I do like to have the arrows, but I'll take off the post title as well as the borders. And then that looks good right there, previous. And you could change the arrow type. I just like to have it as an arrow. So just like that previous with the arrow and it looks nice there. So we put in a post navigation. Now another thing we can put in is related posts. So once again, let's go ahead and add in a heading and call this related posts. Okay, so once we have related posts put in here, and once again, you can go ahead and edit the style of this text by going to style, typography, and switching it to whatever you'd like. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is, and go over here to these, the square in the top right, and go ahead and drag in your posts. So bring the post widget in right here. And as you can see, it's flooding it with a little bit too much content at the moment. So we're gonna go through and reduce this and get these thumbnails to fit properly on the page. So let's just go from the top to the bottom. Classic is good for me. Let's stick with three columns, posts per page. Let's go with three posts per page and put the image position on the top. Image size is fine at medium. And the ratio is why it's looking like this. So let's bring the ratio down a little bit until you see the full image of the picture and then as you can see, when you go too far down, it starts to do the opposite again. So just find right in the middle, which it looks like it's at 0 0.52. 0 0.52 is right in the middle there. And then you can go ahead and you can take out the excerpt as well as read more and take out all this metadata here as well. So we don't need the date or the comments. And then for the text right here, since we have it on our thumbnails, we're just gonna remove the text as well. So boom, they can just click right on the thumbnails, get our information that way. And then once you have this looking optimized, for your website, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that related posts are showing up because as you can see right here, the same article that's being shown is showing up in related posts down below and that's not gonna be accurate. So what to do here, you'll go to content, then you'll go to query and switch posts to related. And now as you can see, it's gonna show related posts. So it's showing some more how-to articles. And then what you can also do is exclude the article that you're currently working on, right? And to do that, all you'll do is click on exclude exclude at the top, so it's include or exclude, go to exclude, click on that plus button, and then click on the current post. So now there's no way that the current post will ever get suggested on the same post that someone is reading. Okay, so you can see now that our blog post page is looking really good and professional. We've got a table of contents over here for anyone just to click on something and find the information they're looking for. We have all these things like the category of the blog post, the title, the date it was published, the thumbnail, the content, previous and next posts, related posts, and there's one other thing we can add in, which is social icons. So let's do that real quick. So you can just type in, let's do share button. So if you go to share buttons, you can put this above or below. I like to put it above and here we are. So you can have your audience share your post to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and the way to switch this up a little bit. I like to have it as an icon. Let's do the shape. I like it as a circle. We can go over to style, color, go to custom and whichever color you'd like. We're about side hustles and making money. So we'll do like some type of green background. Okay. So boom, right there. Let's go with like a green, a little darkish green, and then we can keep the secondary color white. So there you go. Now our audience can go ahead and click on any of these to share our posts to social media, which is really cool. So yeah, look how professional it looks now. And the last thing we can do actually is just create a subscribe button on here. So what we've done is we created, if you look at our regular page here, we have a button where people can click on this and they get redirected to our Hustle Club newsletter sign up page. And we actually created this on Kajabi. So this is not compatible with WordPress. And 
and it can't be linked together. So the way we worked around this is we just created a button on our own that will link you to our email signup page. And I can show you how to do that real quick. So once again, you'll just go ahead and add in some text here. So we'll go maybe two headings, go back and take in another heading. And then we'll just go ahead and add in a button. So type in button. All right, so I'll show you guys how to configure this just to make it like our other post. So we put find our articles helpful, switch that text around, find our articles helpful. And then let's just copy the other text, join our newsletter to receive notifications on posts. So for the sake of this video, I'll just say join our newsletter, exclamation mark. And let's go ahead and center both of these texts. So let's make this one like an H3. So it's a little bit smaller. Actually, you know what? We're gonna make this one an H3 and this one an H4. So here we are. And then you can go ahead and center this button here. So click center. You can do however you'd like, type a button, different colors. So success is green. We might as well just keep it there, but you can change it to whatever you'd like. Uh, the text, you can change that as well. So what we'll do is we like to put subscribe. And then here's where you'll put your link. So just go over to charlie's hustleclub.co sign up, copy this link, come back into Elementor, paste this link in here and check open a new window. So your blog page will still be on their screen. It's just gonna open in a new window, the sign up form. Okay, and it's looking pretty good now. There are a few other options you can do and I'll just walk you through it real quick. You can change the typography once again, make it more bold. Let's go extra bold so that people can really see it. You can transform this to uppercase, lowercase, all that good stuff change the style as well but we'll leave that alone for now or let's go to hover so if you want to make it so when someone goes on it changes color like that all you have to do is go to the hover color so we'll change the hover to let's just say a lighter green for now right and as you can see it switched it and let's say you want to switch it to like gray same thing it's right there so that's all you have to do just switch it over to hover and switch the text color and then you can change the background type to whatever you'd like as well but for us we like it as just we'll keep it green here for now so now when people click on subscribe it will go ahead and redirect them to this page right here and if you want to learn how to create a kajabi email newsletter you can go ahead and check out our other video which i'll go ahead and link in the description as well so yeah that's going to be it as far as how to create a custom blog post template using elementor pro again i'll leave the link to elementor pro down in the description as well as the link to our video on how to create an email newsletter using kajabi and yeah, hopefully this eased up the process on creating a blog post template for your website. And if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button, share with a friend, and subscribe for more content just like this. Here at StartupWise, we are dedicated to giving you free guides and tutorials to help you start your business. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.